What's up everybody, it's Jacob from Side by Side Life and today I got the new Vire 300P air compressor in the mail. So I want to show it to you guys and I want to show you how fast it will fill up a 32 inch side by side tire from 0 to 20 pounds. Let's get started. Alright guys, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pull the core and let all of the air out of this tire. Here we go. Now, one thing I didn't say earlier is that I'm going to do two tests. I'm going to do a test with the car running and one with the car shut off because in the instruction manual for the Bayer 300, it does say to have the car running in order to make the air compressor run at 100% efficiency. So, we'll see if there's any difference between the time it takes with the car shut off and the time it takes with the car running. I bet you they're about the same, but we'll find out. The tire's flat. All right, go ahead and throw this core back in. We'll be ready to uh, start up the air compressor. All right, core's in. Okay guys, the car's running, the computer with the timer is set up, the air compressor hose is connected. Now all I gotta do, flip the air compressor on, hit the start button, and we'll see how long it takes to get to 20 pounds. Here we go. I was about two seconds slow. <laughs> Here we go, smell it up. One thing I forgot to tell you is that the inline gauge is not very accurate unless the air compressor is shut off. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it run past 20 pounds because then when the compressor is shut off, the gauge actually drops down to the actual pressure that's in the tire. So we'll get it there and this will be pretty much exactly the time it will take if you buy a buyer 300 to fill up a tire of oh, similar size. So, here we go. Uh, we're at 56 seconds, so it's doing good. I mean, it's halfway full already. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and drain the tire one more time and we're going to try it 
with the car not running to see if it's any faster or slower. I'm assuming just a skosh bit slower. Sure does go flat fast, that's for sure. She's almost flat. All right, there's all the air. Go ahead and reinstall the core. Like I said, we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna do it without the car running and see what our time is. Here we go. Okay, so we're hooked up here. Timer's ready, air compressor's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on and then hit start on the timer and we'll check it. I was much better on this one. But actually, you know what's interesting is you can hear the compressor. It's not running as fast as it uh, does when the car's running. So my prediction is this is going to be in the three minute range somewhere to get it up to 20 pounds. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I mean, it's filling up the tire really well. You can see it. Um, it's reading uh, 16 pounds. I'm guessing we're at 10-ish. Maybe, nah, maybe six. <clears throat> it's working really well, though. What's really nice about this air compressor is for how strong it is, how stout it's built, it is quiet. I mean, if the car was running or if my truck was running, um, you wouldn't even hear this little air compressor running, to be honest. Um, the tire looks good now. I know it's not at 20 pounds. You could definitely drive it out if you needed to, which is super awesome. I think we're going to get to 20 pounds. I don't know what our timer's at. We're at a minute and 28 seconds. Our gauge is reading 18 pounds, so we're probably at 10, I guess. Um, air compressor does sound a little weaker, though, uh, like I was saying earlier, than when the car's running. So it's probably best to follow the manufacturer's instructions on that and leave whatever you're filling up running so that the air compressor, I'm sorry, the uh, air compressor works at full efficiency. But it sure is working. Boy, I can see my breath. I had the heater on in my shop a little while ago and it's getting cold in here, but the heater's loud, so can't run the heater and the camera at the same time. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at 219. So we're coming up to uh, that mark when it was full, when the car was running, um, and we're definitely gonna be longer on this one, definitely. So it'll be close, but I'll bet you it's at least 30 or 40 seconds behind. Yeah, we're already, we're already falling behind quite a bit with the car off. So, well, the air compressor's still running good. The one thing is, is if you were out in the middle of nowhere and uh, you had to fill up a tire, it would be a good idea to leave the car running because you would hate to fill up your tire and go to start your car and have a dead battery. Then there's no point in having this air compressor, so just leave your car running. It's not that much.
much gas. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're darn close, guys. I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to take a look. All right, we're there. We are at 325. I'm showing 22 pounds, so we went a little bit heavy on this one. I would assume it was probably at 20 pounds around 310-ish, 315 when I was talking. Um, so, you know, it's, it's only 30 to 40 seconds slower if the car's not running. Um, but overall, man, in both tests, this thing performed amazing. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my test for the Viair 300P. Um, it did uh, my 32 inch tire from zero to 20 with the car running in about two minutes and 30 seconds. And with the car not running, it did it in about three minutes and 15 seconds. Uh, we went over a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Three minutes and 15 seconds would be what I would say uh, with the car not running. So this thing performed amazing. Uh, now on to the, the short little review. Um, it's well built. It uh, has this cool little tray, um, has nice legs on it, nice little uh, rubber feet, I guess. It's got little rubber feet in between the tray and the compressor itself to keep it from vibrating real bad. Um, it's a self, like permanently lubricated uh, compressor, meaning you never have to lubricate it ever. Um, it's got an easy change filter right here. It's got alligator clips for your battery. Um, it's got an inline fuse in case something happens, you can replace the fuse. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's built stout. So it's perfect for a four wheeling rig. It's perfect to put in your personal truck. Um, I did try it on my truck. I have a uh, 2016 Ram 3500 Cummins. Um, and I tried it on the back tires, which are at 70 to 80 pounds, depending on, you know, what you're doing with your truck. It did my truck tire from flat, I mean completely flat, to 70 pounds in about 11 minutes, which is pretty awesome for an air compressor this size. Um, so, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about the compressor itself. The one gripe complaint I have is that when you're filling up a tire, the inline gauge doesn't read correctly. You have to shut off the compressor in order to read what's actually in the tire. That's my only complaint. Other than that, guys, um, go out and get yourself a Viar 300P. They're awesome. We'll see you next time.